Hello there, in the first video we looked how to calculate the number of mole of uh, compounds but here we're going to look how to calculate the number of mole and the volume of gases and to do that we do not uh, usually do like uh, calculate the mass because it is easier for gases to calculate the volume so uh, to calculate the volume here if you have cube decimeter like 24 20 24 cube decimeter so in this volume how many atoms of gas occupies this volume 24 cube decimeter it is one mole one mole it means 600 hexillion atoms of any gas occupies this volume 24 cube decimeter and this is what we call it Avogadro's law it says um, any gas at room temperature and pressure uh, this gas occupies a volume of 24 cube decimeter so if you want to find the number of mole of uh, a gas that equals the volume of the gas in cube decimeter over 24 cube decimeter so this is the 24 cube decimeter this is like a constant which you you'll use all the time to divide or multiply over uh, if you have a problem uh, using a gas or later we're going to see it uh, using a solution so uh, let's just have an example of a gas it says calculate the number of moles of uh, 48 cube decimeter of carbon dioxide gas so the rule says number of mole of gas and here we have a gas equals volume of the gas in cube decimeter if the unit of the volume is not in cube decimeter then we need to convert and come up with another solution here so it says volume of the gas we have here the volume uh, over 24 cube decimeter so number of mole of a gas equals the volume here the volume we have 40 8 cube decimeter over 24 24 cube decimeter that equals 2 what 2 moles so just we calculate it like this but if you have the unit not in cube decimeter here we have sante meter cube centimeter not cube decimeter the rule says number of mole of gas equals volume of the gas in cube decimeter over 24 cube decimeter it needs to be in cube decimeter but here we have in centimeter so first we will convert for thousand over to convert from uh, cube centimeter to cube decimeter we will divide over 1000 so this gives us 4 now we have 4 cube decimeter now we're going to say number of mole here I'm going to use another color number of mole equals uh, volume of the gas in cube decimeter how we, now we have 4 this is the volume of the gas over 20 for cube decimeter this will give us 0 0.1666 so 17 we will round it mole because the unit is mole because we are looking for the number of mole this is if you are asked to calculate the number of mole but sometimes you are given the number of mole and they want you to give us the volume instead of the number of mole how we do that as easy quite easy is the same idea here volume of a gas equals number of mole times 24 cube decimeter uh, the same as i told you this is a constant we use it all the time in gases why 24 cube decimeter because we said the volume uh, which is occupied by any gas one mole of any gas at room temperature and pressure equals 24 cube decimeter so how we're going to look at this 
example it says calculate the volume of three moles of uh, sulfur dioxide gas here it needs the volume and you have the number of mole so the rule says uh, volume of a gas equals number of moles times what 24 cube decimeter so volume of uh, carbon uh, sulfur dioxide equals number of mole here we have three times 24 cube decimeter so three uh, times 24 cube decimeter equals 72 cube decimeter because we are going to look for the volume so the unit is going to be cube decimeter not uh, centimeter or mole this is the unit so again if you have a question like this you need to state the rule then you apply it correctly then you give me the answer the final answer and the unit you get a full mark here you have the volume of three moles but sometimes they do not give you the number of mole they just give you the mass and then you first need to find the number of mole then you will calculate the volume here we have example like that it says calculate the volume of 192 gram of sulfur dioxide gas here the rule says volume of a gas equals uh, number of moles times what 24 cube decimeter here number of moles but in the question we do not have the number of mole we have the mass so first we need to find the number of mole and that is we studied it before uh, how we do that it says number of mole of a compound because here we have a compound equals mass of the compound over mass of one mole of the compound so one mole of the compound one mole of sulfur dioxide this is sulfur sulfur is 32 so it says 32 plus we have oxygen 2 times 16 that equals all of it equals uh, 64 64 here we have the mass of one mole of the compound so number of mole equals mass of the compound here we have it 192 over mass of one mole of the compound is 64 this equals three mole so now we have three moles F calculate the volume of three moles of uh, sulfur dioxide gas it says volume of a gas equals number of mole times 24 cube decimeter so volume equals number of mole here we have three times 24 cube decimeter that equals 72 cube decimeter and this is how we find the the volume of a gas if we are given the mass instead of the number of mole first we find the number of mole and then we apply the rule of uh, calculating gases and that is uh, uh, for now until next video ciao